So today we're going to talk about um, jawline narrowing, jawline narrowing using Botox uh, to the jawline. The uh, overly prominent jawline angle is seen as a masculine feature, and the traditional uh, approach to correcting this problem has been surgical, which is removing the bone and sometimes removing the overlying muscle with it. However, for uh, uh, patients with moderate deformity, this is a very large operation uh, to undergo. There are risks to the facial nerve, which can result in uh, paralysis, and there's a very large artery which can lead to massive bleeding. And so the operation wasn't always appropriate for minor deformities. Uh, in 1999, I started using Botox to the, to the jawline and found that this resulted in a very dramatic reduction um, of the muscle in the jaw area. Um, I presented this at the uh, American Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons meeting, and this was the first description in North America of using Botox for purely aesthetic purposes. Uh, this is a patient that was kind enough to let us use her photograph. As you can see, she has dramatic narrowing of her jawline uh, uh, simply using Botox to the masseter. Oh, who gets these enlarged jawlines? Well, it tends to run in, fa run in families. Uh, it's also commonly found in Northeastern Asians. It's also commonly found in people who grind their teeth. Uh, the next photograph shows a patient who has an enlarged jawline due to grinding her teeth at night. And in addition, she has what's called TMJ, or temporomandibular joint disorder. And that's caused by the jawline uh, crushing the jaw joint near the, near the ear, and that's causing uh, persistent pain. And she was relieved of that pain using uh, Botox only. So the question comes up, well, how do you do the procedure? It's quite simple. It's a five-minute procedure. Uh, after uh, uh, appropriate consultation, we'll go into the treatment room. I'll uh, feel for your jaw muscle. I'll have you clench your teeth. And then uh, with a very thin, uh, thin gauge needle, I'll inject and sculpt the jawline muscle in uh, multiple places. Uh, in the initial description, we described 25 patients who underwent the procedure and they had no serious complications. By 2007, we had injected over 5,000 patients, and to the best of our knowledge, that's the largest series in North America. We have not had any major complications with this procedure. Uh, early in our series, we found that even with a single injection, the result of the procedure it persists, persists long after the Botox is gone. So even at one year, you'll see some shrinkage of the muscle. Um, we have three general groups of people that we like to treat using Botox to the jawline. Uh, one is, the first photograph you're going to see is a, uh, a masculine jawline. And in this case, we see an enlarged muscle as well as enlarged bone. But I found that if you use Botox, even though there's two components, just shrinking the muscle alone will give you a pretty dramatic effect. And she was quite happy. Uh, a second case that we'll use Botox will be a patient who has predomin predominantly muscle enlargement. This patient, again, had teeth grinding and TMJ pain, and he got dramatic relief with Botox injections to the jawline. The third case that we'll use Botox is a patient who has not only an enlarged jawline, but also enlarged uh, cheeks. And in the past, we used to do a combined jawline and cheekbone reduction, which is a very lengthy operation. Now, we simply do uh, the jawline uh, procedure using the Botox, and then we'll surgically uh, narrow the cheekbones. So the operation went from a four or five hour operation to a one hour operation. You can see a pretty dramatic result uh, using Botox in this patient. So in conclusion, we can say that this is a uh, using Botox to the jawline is a very dramatic um, improvement. It's, it's changed the entire way we approach this problem and it's a very safe uh, treatment of a, of a previously difficult problem to correct. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to demonstrate today is that it's very simple and quick to have jawline uh, injection using Botox. So um, Vicky's been nice enough to demonstrate for us um, how, how it, it looks. So what I'm going to do is um, we'll have you turn over slightly and uh, this alcohol pad 
So we blot that so it's sterile. And then I'm going to have uh, Vicky go ahead. Can you bite down for me? Bite and then relax. Okay, relax. And you can see one, two, and three. And that's it for this side. So how was that uncomfortable at all? No, not at all. Okay, so that's uh, pretty simple. And we start to see a result in about four weeks. So that's, that's the end of it.